Uh, hi, Tom. Hi, Dice. I, How's it I going? I just wanted to ask a question about uh, the day the laughter died. I just wanted to know uh, what was the inspiration for it and what was it like recording it? Great question. Um, the day the laughter died happens to be a fan, a real Dice fan's favorite album. The concept was the ultimate late night set, okay? And I had a lot of trouble with it before I even put it out because there was basically really not much of an audience. Yeah, to put this in, like this. To put this in context, you were playing arenas. Yeah, I was doing arenas. And then you just decided you would do your next comedy album from a small nightclub with a sparse audience. I did it at Dangerfields in New York with heart because when you're doing a concert, you know, you gotta entertain thousands of people. All right? And and I'm not really into that. I'd rather just be with a few friends and crack them up. So we set up to do this album, Late Night at Dangerfields. I go on, do two, three hours at a clip. Um, I didn't work on any material for the album, and it was a double CD. And before it came out, Mitzi Shaw, the owner of the comedy store, told me, this album's going to destroy your career. There's nothing on it. You know, David Geffen called me and said, all right, I understand the concept, but why does it have to be a double CD? And I said, because nobody's ever done that, especially with no people, really. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, it's, it's your career, and the album went gold in four days. That was uh, Rick Rubin, was it? Rick Rubin produced it, who absolutely loved it, because he's odd also, obviously. Was that part of, like, did you guys come up with that idea together to go play a small club? Uh, yeah, I said, I, I, I just want to get away from the people. I just want to record where nobody's going to see me or bother me. And then we did a sequel to it, The Day the Laughter Died Part Two, which the end of that is me nearly getting into a fight with this guy in the crowd. I actually drop the mic and go after him, and that's the end of the album. <laughs>